Laborers found this fossil in a quarry in the German town of Erningen in 1725. It looked a bit different then, as only the head and long backbone were visible. The Swiss doctor, Johann Jakob Schreutzer, believed it to be a human skeleton, the skeleton of a sinner who'd been a victim of the biblical flood. As a result, he named the find Homo diluvii testis, the man who witnessed the deluge. In 1802, Martinus van Marum bought the now famous fossil for Taylor's Museum. By then, Schreutzer's theory was subject to considerable doubt. The truth eventually came to light in 1811. During a visit to Taylor's Museum, the French anatomist Georges Cuvier was given permission to further dissect the fossil. As he chiselled away, Cuvier's suspicions were confirmed. The anatomist uncovered the forelegs of a giant salamander. The differences in colour in the bedrock show the part of the fossil that Cuvier exposed. Giant salamanders have since died out in Europe, but can still be found in China and Japan.